What is up, Ninja Nation? Welcome back to another Pitchy Ninja's filthiest pitches of the day. Remember, before we get to those pitches, hit that subscribe button. Be a part of Ninja Nation, the best baseball community on YouTube. And now, without further ado, here are my filthiest pitches of the day. I'm going to start with Carlos Carrasco, who had six Ks in six innings, giving up only one run. They had these nasty sliders. Next up is Julio Rios, who had five strikeouts in seven innings, giving up two earned runs, and had these wicked breaking balls and change-ups. He outdueled Blake Snell, who had five Ks in four innings, and got this White Castle special, as well as had a 97-mile-an-hour fastball. But in Pitching Ninja World, we won't talk about the fact he also gave up five earned runs. Logan Webb had six Ks in seven innings, giving up two runs, and had these sick two-seamers. These things had up to 17 inches of run. Webb's ERA this season is now 2.88. He outdueled Marcus Stroman, but I love this isolated view of Stroman's sinker release. You can see how weird that sinker is. It looks like a cutter or slider out of his hand, but it moves the other direction. And that's mostly due to the spin axis of the baseball. Matt Manning had four Ks in six and a third innings, giving up two runs and had this fastball. Ranger Suarez had this painted two-seamer and nasty slider. Michael Waka had five strikeouts in six innings and had these wicked change-ups, including this ankle-breaking one. Ouch. That change-up is a weapon. Waka has a 164 batting average against his change-up this year with a 34% whiff rate. Jamison Tyone had eight strikeouts in seven to third innings with this gas as well as this curveball for a sword. And here's an overlay of his fastball and curveball, and you can see how tough that combination is for hitters. It matches up really well with his fastball and then dives. Lance Lynn had five Ks in six innings, and they were mostly on his fastball and changeup. He couldn't really find his curveball this game, and that curveball had been filthy his last few outings. But Lance Lynn's pitches aren't necessarily his highlights. His K-struts are. And here is a legendary fuck-off K-strut, complete with the hand gesture, and then lets off a big F-bomb coming off the field. Seven, Never change, Lance. You may look at his ERA over four and say he sucks this year, but his last five outings, he hasn't given up more than one earned run and has given up none in his last two. That ERA has come down a ton. Kevin Gosman had nine Ks in five and a third innings. And of course, Gosman had his filthy splitters, including this Expelliarmus splitter. Expelliarmus! Tristan McKenzie had five strikeouts and seven scoreless innings, thanks to his hammer curveballs. And he now has a 3.05 ERA over 165 and a third innings. Why is that important? Because it means if the season ended today, Tristan McKenzie would get that Rolex from Marcus Stroman. You may want to sit the rest of the season out. Nah, keep tearing it up, Dr. Styx. Max Fried went six innings with six strikeouts, giving up only two runs. And those Ks were mostly due to his nasty changeups. Just total filth. But Freed was outdueled by George Kirby, who had six Ks in six scoreless innings and had these wicked two-seamers, as well as this breaking ball. Kirby is a ton of fun to watch pitch and throws more like a veteran than a rookie, constantly under attack. His ERA this season is now 2.98. But my filthiest starter of the day, that was Shohei Otani. Otani had these wicked sliders, including this White Castle special, and was up to 90 miles an hour on his slider. And his fastball was up to 101.4 miles an hour, which was the fastest of his career. And he let out this K yell. And he blew him away with 100. But his filthiest pitch was his sinker. Yeah, a pitch he added just a few weeks ago. He threw a 101 mile an hour sinker. Yeah, it was a ball, but look at the drop on that. And then threw this 99 mile an hour sinker to Altuve, which dove into the dirt. You can see Altuve's reaction. It looks like he wants to just quit the at-bat. That sinker dropped so much that A.J. Pruszynski called it a splitter. And he got a split right there, and he swung it. You saw the frustration on Altuve's face. And to be honest, if I didn't see the velocity on it, I would have thought it was a splitter too. He also threw this 99-mile-an-hour sinker to Altuve. They got the swing and miss, and you can see Altuve laugh. He followed it up with this slider, and here's an overlay of those two pitches. You can see how that slider starts way inside that sinker and makes a sharp turn to the plate. Otani had to leave the game in the sixth with a blister, but he ended up with seven Ks in five innings. 
I also like this on Shohei's pregame warm-up routine. You can see how he warms up with plyo balls and actually has some of the reps gunned by a pocket radar. The plyo balls help maintain an efficient arm path. Shohei may not win the Cy Young Award this year, but he may be the filthiest starting pitcher in the American League. Who do y'all think's filthier between Shane McClanahan, Shohei Otani, Dylan Cease, and Justin Verlander? Leave your thoughts in the comments. Now, on to my filthiest relievers. Jimmy the Human Glitch Herget had this wicked breaking ball and sword. Camilo Duvall had this 99 mile an hour heat. Paul Sewald had this slider and fastball. Andres Munoz had this White Castle special. And someone on Twitter complained that Michael Harris had a terrible at bat here. So I wanted to show you what Harris was dealing with. Here's a 101 mile an hour fastball from Munoz overlaid with his slider. And you can see how long that slider looks like a fastball. You're basically guessing and you have to guess quick because his fastball's 101 miles an hour. Hitting is way tougher than criticizing hitting from your couch. But my filthiest reliever of the day, that was Bryce Montes de Oca. Montes de Oca means mountains of goose. And Mr. Goose Mountain had these mountains of filth. Look at these 101 mile an hour sinkers. That last one ran 18 inches and also dove out of the zone, like goose poop falling on your windshield. Okay, that was a terrible analogy, but you get what I mean. That was an absolutely absurd pitch. And now, my Pitching Ninja moment of zen. Keeping with this animal theme, I decided to pair Ted Barrett checking James Karinchek's hair for sticky stuff with a monkey grooming. These mechanics are identical. What is up, Ninja Nation? My picks of the day today are a two-leg parlay. I'm gonna go with Luis Garcia for seven Ks or more, and then Andrew Heaney for eight Ks or more. What would your picks of the day be? 